along for this Tuesday edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. All right, let's take a look at New Orleans' starting lineup. The Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. And it's Valanchunas in at the center position. And for the Kings, Herter and Barnes fill the wings. Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. And it's Fox in at the point. And now we're getting into the thick of the NBA season, Smitty. When you gaze around the league, what do you look for to say this team's for real? For me, B.A., to win a championship, your defense has to be in the top five. Also, it's hard to win it all your first time in the playoffs. Past experience is generally necessary to contend. Now here's Herter. Off target with the three. Barnes against Ingram. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Brandon Ingram possesses grace and power. He mixes them together for a big finish. Pass to Herter. Takes it inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Making a statement here early. Going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Well, this is his game. Be proactive offensively. Put the defense back on his heels. Now here's Jones. Now here's McCollum. Six to shoot. Valanchunas passes to McCollum. Over Fox. Boy, oh, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. That's solid D, but in the end, CJ wins out with better offense. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. They defeated Washington in their last game. It always helps when your opponent turns the ball over that many times. I thought it was the deciding factor overall. There were some unforced errors, but they also created some mistakes through their intensity on both ends. Now here's Fox. He had a 30-point outing in their last game against Washington. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Here's Williamson. After the Kings picked up a basket a moment ago. Misses the baby hook. Outside Herter. Outside Barnes. Here's Murray. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And the physical style Murray plays with will serve him well in this league. And he can't hit the second. And I think Murray attacks the game like only a young man can. Every play, every possession, he's looking to leave his mark. Now here's Ingram. What a tremendous game he played against San Antonio. Jones in the post. Herder defending. Jones' his shot is good. Not where Jones wants to shoot from, but he stayed cool and made it work. Herder passes to Sabonis. Now here's Fox. Up and over McCollum. Again, the miss by the Kings. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Williamson finds McCollum. Now Jones. Inside. Now Antunas. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. 
Beautiful pass by Jones, keeping his head on a swivel and creating the wide open look. Timeout call, Sacramento. The last time these two clubs came together was also in this building, with an unfortunate ending for the home team. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. And a new group getting ready for the Kings. Lyles, he's checked in for Murray. Dorte comes in for Barnes. Monk, he's checked in for Herter. And Mitchell subbed in for Fox. Now here's Sabonis. Playing Washington, he was nearly unstoppable. Pass to Mitchell. Drops in the layup for two. <laughs> Forget position. Sabonis is one of the best overall passers in the league. For New Orleans, they've gone four of five so far. Looking sharp. Rebound by the Kings. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. The shot by Duarte, no good. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. All right, let's give a nod to defense now with a list of the teams leading the league in steals this month. Second, the Pelicans. They've really gotten after it at the defensive end, and that's been generating turnovers. Shoot two. First one falls for him. As one of the top two-way players in the draft, Daniels was on a lot of teams' radar, and that kind of versatility will always get a player some attention. And he makes both free throws. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Mitchell with the ball. And the layup is good off the glass. Mitchell's gotten his second bucket of the game. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Here's Hawkins. Monk covers. Here's Hawkins. No points so far. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Good, Zeller, and the Pelicans making a change here. He makes one or two that time. The Kings trailing. Here's Duarte. Another shot, and the foul is called. He missed it, 
So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And he drops the first. That one drops. He ties it up. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Alvarado outside. One second left. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. And what I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. The Pelicans on top. They're up by two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And guys, what's your take on the Pelicans so far? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. Okay, on the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Zion and Valanchunas in the middle. And it's Alvarado in at the point guard position. And the Pelicans making a change here. McCollum's checked in. And that's a foul called on Kevin Herter. That's his first foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. New Orleans in the lead. Stay there, stay there, stay there. McCullum outside. Pass to Valanchunas. Back to McCullum. The ball's knocked loose. Valanchunas, good. That's where Valanchunas is a handful inside and on the block. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, the Pelicans have developed a tremendous chemistry. Coach Willie Green said, quote, all of those guys play the game the right way. They want to be unselfish and make sure their teammates are involved. We're really fortunate as a team that our top guys bring that mentality on a nightly basis. Brian? Yeah, chemistry and leadership. They have it. Thanks, Ali. The offensive game of Zion continues to evolve. Love watching him nail it off the catch. Not everyone is going to score 20 points a game. And Herb Jones has embraced his role on the defensive side, Smitty. B.A., some call him the straight jacket because what he does on the defensive end, he's tall and lanky, and he's not easy to shake off. Now here's Murray. From the line. Good. He hits the jumper. Fox has gotten a second bucket on the night. Good defense, but not good enough. Fox doesn't need more than an inch of space to keep his shot on target. Here's Ingram. Here's Valanchunas. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Valanchunas has gotten his third basket of the night. Fox deciding where to go with it. Outside Murray. Rejected by Valanchunas. 
You see the length of Valanciunas on display with that block. Just went up and got it. Here's Williamson. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And Fox has got the ball here for Sacramento. Eight-point game. Outside Murray. The three. McCollum pulls it in. For New Orleans, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. That's good from Williamson on the assist by McCollum. Williamson's got six here in the quarter. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Timeout call, Sacramento. Smitty, what impresses you about C.J. McCollum's game as a ball handler? B.A., well, he's a terrific passer, but also a consistent scoring option. I'm impressed with how he balances those two aspects of his job. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Demata Sabonis, he's checked in for Lyles. Dorte comes in for Murray. Monk, he's checked in for Herter. And Mitchell subbed in for Fox. Now here's Mitchell. And there's the drive. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got a rebound number five here tonight. And here they come. Marshall can't hit. Outside Barnes to the inside. Now the Pelicans in transition. The pull-up J, and he hits the jump shot. Marshall's got his first basket of the night. The Kings have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Now here's Mitchell, tightly guarded, and Sabonis slams it in. At almost seven feet tall, you got to push Sabonis farther away. When you don't, he just dunks it with ease. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Daniels. Fifty seconds left in the first half. Dorte. It's deflected. Yeah, that was great job on defense from Daniels. He knows how to distract shooters. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. Outside Mitchell. Oh, it's blocked by Valanchunas. And it's the Pelicans on the break. Daniels misses. And here's Mitchell. Got a hand on it. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation with four on the clock. Here's Daniels, rejected by Mitchell. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans going into the break up 12. They just can't miss right now. Every shot they're taking, you assume, is going in. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. A competitive matchup for New Orleans in the first quarter. In the first period, their biggest lead was a slim three points. In the second quarter, they crushed it at both ends, cruising out to a 12-point advantage. Shaq, what would you think about what we saw from New Orleans? 
they were getting after it on the glass, like wild and they got a nice edge in that department, which has led to this lead. They won the heart and some battle in that first half. So now we'll see if they can keep that going. And Kenny, your take on Sacramento. A combination of poor shooting and poor shot selection. That's what my take was. They need to be more patient, run the offense all the way through, and let everyone touch the ball. Otherwise, they're playing into the other team's hands. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. You look at Zion Williamson. What a contribution. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Barnes and Murray at the three and the four. Fox and Herter man the guard spots. And it's Sabonis in its center. That's the group starting the second half for Mike Brown. And that's a foul called on Demonis Sabonis. That's foul number two for him. And here are the Pelicans now. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Valanchunas passes to Ingram. No good from outside. Sacramento shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. If you look at Ingram, it seems like he only gets better with age, Smitty. Yeah, you're so right. There's a case to be made that since he won the Most Improved Player Award in 2020, he's only continued to improve. His game gets more well-rounded every season. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. CJ McCollum sometimes gets overlooked, but he said, quote, I just do my job. It's about team success. I'm going to be more efficient and more consistent. I'm going to make plays, make shots, and try to help us win. Brian? He's a great team leader, has a great perspective on his place in the game. Thanks, Allie. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Keegan Murray. That's his first foul. Jones finds Ingram. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Ingram's got his second basket. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Sabonis in the post. Valanchunas on him. Here's Barnes. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Barnes has got his first two points. Rock solid screed right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Here's Ingram. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Ingram's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Here's Fox. McCollum with some nice D. And so McCullum will bring it up for the Pelicans. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Here's Jones. Off target at the rim. Bad offense against bad defense. The play looked as ugly as you'd imagine. Herter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Physical D right there. But Herter's mentally tough. Never lost focus. Ingram against Barnes. Steps back and shoots. Again, the miss by Ingram. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. Out to Fox. Pass to Sabonis. Puts up the eight-footer. Back to Fox. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer. And the three-pointer goes. Fox has got seven points in the game. And it's important that Fox keeps taking and making triples. It really helps open up everything else for him. New Orleans calls timeout. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing.
And the Kings will go for a different look here. Lyles, he's checked in for Sabonis. Dorte comes in for Barnes. Monk, he's checked in for Herter. And Mitchell subbed in for Fox. Right around three minutes into this second half. Pass to Hawkins. Six on the shot clock. Here's Marshall. And Cody Zeller is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. For Sacramento, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Pass to Monk. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Marshall passes to Alvarado. Sacramento grabs the miss. Murray with it. Guarded now by Alvarado. Outside Mitchell. 111 left in the third quarter. Monk passes to Lyles. Drills it from deep. Lyles has got his first three points of the game. Their offense sort of clawing back to respectability. Let's see if they can keep building on this. Hawkins, the pass to Marshall. Alvarado with it. And they call an illegal screen here. Here's a look at some stats for De'Aaron Fox. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. And it's Sacramento's ball. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Monk passes to Mitchell. Who poked away. Alvarado with a steal. Down low. Here's Marshall. And again, no good by New Orleans. The Kings have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Dorte, the pass to Mitchell. There's 14 seconds left in the third. Five to shoot. From deep three-point land. And no good. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> Just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. So the Pelicans five right now. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. The Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. And it's Valanchunas in at the five. And it's Fox missing. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Pass to Ingram. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Tough inside. Ingram's got a lot of moves he can beat you with. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Pelicans. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And also, attacking in transition has been working for them. I mean, we credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. That free throw, good from Ingram. It's so fun to see Brandon Ingram evolve. He's a true student of the game, and each year, he keeps improving. Both free throws good from Ingram. The Kings trailing. Fox the pass to Barnes. 
Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. The defense did their best. But sometimes it just does not matter to Barnes at all because he keeps his eyes on the rim at all times. Now here's Ingram. Kicks it out to Williamson. Gets the three ball to go. And the Pelicans lead by nine. These are the fundamentals we're always talking about. Excellent bounce pass. Outside Monk takes the three. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got rebound number eight here already in the game. And the basket by Williamson. And now it's an 11-point Pelican lead. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Herter passes to Sabonis, and that one good. After a poor offensive first half, some nice adjustments made by this staff, and their shooting percentage is climbing. Pass to Valanciunas. Outside Ingram. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. Each year, Brandon becomes a little more assertive at the offensive end, and we know he has the talent. And he knocks down the first one, and the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Grant? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. And that's good as he hits both shots. And really strong at the line since the break. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Kings. They trail by 11. Stolen by Jones. Here's the break. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. I like when Herb Jones plays with an edge. Accepting the contact and finishing through it. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. From the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Mike Brown was just reviewing the plan with his team. He told his guys to, quote, turn it up, going on to say, only way we get out of this hole is with effort, incredible effort. So show me what you can do out there. It's a big ask, but we'll see what happens. Back to you. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Can't lose sight of Fox or allow him to feel comfortable looking to score this close. McCullum, the pass to Valanciunas. Herder against Ingram. Now here's McCollum. Not a lot of room. On the wing, Jones. Four on the clock. And another three for New Orleans. Some of Jones's minutes are dictated by how well he shoots the three ball. Here's Fox. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. Murray's checked in for Monk. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Ingram against Barnes. Tries it from 19. Doesn't go that time. 
Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Murray finds the bonus. Outside Murray. Kicks it out to Barnes. Buries it from three. He smiles on these catch and shoot opportunities. Barnes very comfortable as a secondary scorer. New Orleans has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. McCullum against Fox. Shots good by McCollum. And the Pelicans lead by 11. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Now here's Barnes. Five on the clock. Over Ingram. Barnes, no good. The Pelicans have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. And the clock will wind down on this one. Just a solid effort and a good win for the Pelicans. What would you say the deciding factor in this game was, Grant? Yeah, B.A., ultimately you have to look at their field goal percentage. They were the more efficient team because they found clean looks all night. And for the year, this will give them win number 17. And no question this was a team effort. But you have to love how big a night this was for Jonas Valanciunas. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his, and many of them were tonight. Everything Fox does is so fast. It makes him very difficult to guard without fouling. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that brings him within 10. And looking at Fox, a microwave score and Tasmanian Devil running up and down the floor. A fun player to watch. And both free throws good for Fox. 23 seconds left in the game. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. Now Alvarado. And so it's New Orleans winning this one. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. CJ, there are always doubters about this team's capability to win at the highest levels. How much fuel do you take from that? Honestly, I got enough motivation. I got it out the mud. I went to Lehigh University. You know what I'm saying? No one's ever been drafted from here before. So for me, it's just about showing what I can do every night and keeping the door open for the next mid-major. I love that you never lost that underdog mentality. Thanks, CJ. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. We'll see you later.